Ted. I'm going to show you how I use this Swanson Big 12 Speed Square with the layout bar to lay out stringers. I'll also demonstrate a few other things you can do with this. Now with the Swanson Speed Big 12 Square facing up, I'm going to take this large bolt, and it's the quarter by three quarter. I'll stick it right above the S on the Swanson there for now. It's the small washer. And it also gets this hex nut, the long hex nut. It'll go right there. Tighten it down temporarily. The layout bar, it's going to go right here. But before we fasten that on, I'm going to take this last big nut, small washer and the hex, and we're going to go ahead, turn that upside down, put it in the back of it. Small washer, and again the hex head, it's going right there, fasten that down, and then we can put the smaller bolts, large washer, and the wing nut. And these are the 3 16 by 3 quarter bolts. We put them right there. The other one goes in this other space made for it. Tighten it down. And it should look something like this when you're done with it. This is the view from the back here. And then from the front, we have our little adjustments. And these are for laying out the stair stringers. You can see the scale right here. This side is for the rise. And then it's adjustable, of course. The stair stringer I'll be doing is going to have a seven and a half inch rise. And it's going to be 10 inches on this side. If you flip it over, you'll see the scale. You can also adjust this temporarily. Slide that up, and you can see the scale behind it. I make sure it's flush at the end. Tighten it back up real good. And then you can loosen this, slide it down to the 10. It's going to be just on the other side of 10. And then I'm going to return this to flushness. It's ready to lay out those stringers. Another use for this layout bar is to help you figure out how to square angles. So we have this board here that I know is out of square. We're going to put the square on it. And yeah, you see this big gap here? You loosen up these two wing nuts and you just simply slide the layout bar into place. Tighten the wing nuts back down. And now you have this out of square measurement right here. Here. Now we have a nice out of square fit. It's got a built in 45, a built in 90, and you can scribe with it for ripping 2x4s into 2x2s or trim. And you can also use it as a saw guide. This is all going to be cut away. This will all be cut out. You can see you're just going to keep on going down the line doing it like this. Nice thing about these speed squares is you can double check, but you have your measurement right here. You can see the 10, and you can see the 7 and a quarter.